Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Flatty Daddies. Tonight's going to be a solo run. Uh, Saturday night and we're only getting out for a couple hours and I've only got eight fish so it's kind of like a save me from myself kind of deal with the eight fish because I got up super early to go hunting this morning it was first day of duck and I'm pretty tired but I know this is gonna be probably the last time I can get out this season for at least on the Susquehanna so I gotta at least give it a shot um, rivers coming up a lot probably about three foot we got some rain yesterday and uh, I'm hoping hoping I can get some fish maybe this was a bad spot just because it is just ripping I mean it's it's the hardest I've seen it I've anchored up after the third attempt here uh, behind this pillar I wanted to be up a little bit further cast right behind there but there's still a pretty good current seam and break back there but I mean it's just rolling over that dam up there um, so you know it's it's gonna be tough I might be moving down uh, trying to tuck behind islands here soon. I'm gonna give this a quick shot. Let's see if eight ounces is enough here. There, quick little lock out there. All right. Well, it's probably snagged or something because it's it's holding. For how long, I don't know, but it's there. Nice, healthy, happy, sunny. Not so happy, I guess. So far, so good. I like to put it right there. Well, all three are somehow holding. I don't know how long that's going to last, though. Man, he's not big, but he hit like he meant business. Wait till he gets down that current, though. Oh, here he comes out in that current. Now he feels big. I know he's not, but he definitely feels like it. only a couple pounds. What am I going to do if I get a big one? Turn the clicker on so you can hear. Now you learned how to use that current. Uh, he's up at the top. Yeah, you probably can't see him, but he's flashing around at the top now. Just gotta drag him in. Keep his head up, I guess. Oh, he's all wrapped up. Uh, water's 
skiing. Bad though. Yeah, a little bigger than I thought. Perfect hook set. I wouldn't have kept them if that wasn't right through there. Huh. 8.9 ounce. I thought he was smaller than that. Even though I just uh, just pulled a fish out of here, I think I'm gonna move. I'm kind of really limited to where I can cast. I don't know how many fish are hanging in here. It's been oh half hour, 40 minutes here. Got one. I might come back to it later if I can't find another spot. But I'm gonna go down there where the islands are, get out of this real nasty current, and see if I can't find something a little bit easier to, and better to manage. Maybe I'll go up the one creek I, I know of. Alright guys, I uh, made a move. Almost lost my anchor because it was snagged on the rock I was, I was on and it wasn't coming off. I thought it was going to break the cleat, the anchor cleat, or fall in the river or something. It was pretty bad there for a little bit. But finally broke it loose. Came down. I know you can't see anything here. But uh, I'm down in the mouth of a creek i'm up maybe 50 yards in it and it is like night and day here i mean it is completely calm uh, and i'm just gonna pray that they're coming up here to feed in this uh no i'm gonna go a little bit further in this real calm water i mean there's no wind there's no current to speak of other than just a little bit of flow i could hardly get my boat where I wanted it, wanted it, and this is like a dream. It's usually really shallow, like five, maybe six foot, but I'm getting seven, eight foot, and it's staying a lot more consistent. So I'm I'm really happy with this spot. I can use my clickers. This is looking really good, guys. Yeah, I don't I don't think I need my five and eight ounces anymore, and uh, I'm gonna switch over to this sinker slide. Just on braid, it's it's nice to use because it uh, prevents it from fraying. Braid is really bad for fraying on you. It's strong line. It's great, but it frays like a like a son of a bitch. And once it starts fraying, it's is near as strong in the world. There we go. So switch over to this. Put maybe a two or three ounce on. I don't think I need any more, and I'm probably gonna be in this creek the rest of the night which is only a couple hours or until the bait's gone all right let's go ahead and clip a here's a three ouncer i'll use a three ouncer use what's easy right <laughs> well i had this little guy on here and the battery died and since he's so little, I just kind of threw him in the rod holder and changed the battery. He's still on. He's not terribly small. But not very big either. But anything in October is a good fish. God dang it. I'm not as cool as some of these guys. I have a hard time grabbing them and having them not tear up my mount, my hand. So, I use these grippers now. Calm down, calm down. You're in good hands. There it is. 
No pliers required. Say about six pounds. All right, I seriously question this thing. Eight pounds? I don't think so. Let's see if I can. Well, it's consistently off. Eight, eight pounds, ten ounces. I'm gonna have to check that. Burping at me. All right. All right, he hit right along the bank. So I may as well throw it right back along the bank. Maybe they're just cruising along there looking for food. I do know it's slower than I thought it was going to be. Man, it's one of the coldest I've ever fished for flatheads, except for March tournaments. It's about 55 degrees, but uh, water temperature's uh, still at 62. I don't know if you can read that, 62. So, still biting. It's probably the latest I've ever fished for them, and any, any fish you catch October 13th up here on the Susquehanna is a good fish. So I'm pretty excited. I got two so far. I still got about another hour, so see see if I can manage it. Right. More. It's time for a move. I'm gonna focus on that bank there. I like it. It was really shallow though. look very big but I'll take it. Nice little end cap. I miss him. Guess I should have cranked down, but usually have more luck just waiting for him to take it. All right, it's uh, a little bit before 10 o'clock, and I think it was a pretty good night. I had two decent fish and had some hits here. Um, with the way the water is, I, I can't complain. Uh, it was too early of a morning to stay out any later though. I want to get some stuff done in the morning. So, uh, this might be the last flathead trip. It might not be, but definitely going to try to get at least one trip down on the Potomac chasing those blue cats. Uh, I think Chad's going to try to come down too. So, flatty daddies will be going for the blues.